Hey, you welcome to Graphic Policy Television GP TV. I'm Brett, and my hands is a fairly buzzed about comic that is soon to be a film. Jiu Jitsu from Acme Rocket Fuel. It's written by Dimitri Logothesis, Jim McGrath, and then art by Greg McCrary. Um, so this is an interesting one. With the film is out soon. Uh, I think we were starting to get hit up about the film and covering it like late last year. It's clearly been delayed due to uh, COVID. Uh, finally getting a release, I believe, this November. So the film starts stars Nicolas Cage and Frank Grillo. Cage alone is why everyone's buzzing because the film looks completely insane. The film looks kind of like Predator, but instead of a bunch of like soldiers, it's a bunch of people who know jujitsu. It's kind of the the vibe everyone seems to be getting. Uh, the comic is not quite that. The comic is also really horrible, and only one issue, and it came out in 2017, so I'm going to call it Vaporware that was done to try to get financing for a film is how I think it probably went, because as far as I know, there's been no issue number two, three, whatever, to finish the story. Like, this is not a complete comic or a complete story. Uh, the comic itself is okay. Um, no, it's not even okay. It's bad. It's really, really bad. I mean, if anyone, uh, has financing and read this and then said, let's do a film, I really gotta go question your investment skills and thoughts. Um, so the comic is about a, a man who's a, uh, high school, uh, coach, teacher, vet, and then, uh, he also has hidden memories, and we learn that there's alien races and dust that settled in and steals memories, and that there's ancient warriors who know jujitsu, whose entire thing is to fight the aliens when they eventually invade, uh, in, like, a, a tournament, it seems like. I don't know. It's all kind of choppy, and nothing's really coherent and thought out. Um, to say that there's a story is... There's a string of thoughts is the best way of putting it. I would argue it's not really so much a story as a whole bunch of ideas put together on a page and panels. Um, the dialogue is sparse. Most of it's told over in voiceover or, or you know, panels or balloons, whatever you want to call them. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's bad. It's real. like, this is rough indie comics. Um, I probably would have bought this at a, a shot, like a show, pick it up, read it, and just go, well, that was something, and then never think of it again, um, and then question why the hell I bought this in the first place. It's, it's, really, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Um, I'm hoping the film is better. So, like, you get the cover. The, the cover kind of looks cool. It's, it's actually really interesting format for a comic. Um, it almost it looks like a 45 shape, like 45 records, for those who don't know. Um, there was circles, you put them on a record player, and music comes out of them. Anyone? Anyone? All right, whatever. Um, the, the, so I went through the story. It's, the art is like, there's this, see, I like the art and I dislike the art at the same time. Like, there's this kind of cool indie vibe about it, but it's not consistent in the style. Like, you open up with something like, this, which is kind of intriguing, and then you get, like, this panel, which has potential, and then, like, a weird eyes over here that are googly, that look like someone put in Google eyes to a page, and just, yeah, it's, like, it's all over, and it's, it's, this is rough indie stuff. Like, this reminds me of what my cousin was doing when he was, like, 17 or 18. Like, that's honest. And then... You get fight scenes, and the fight scenes have potential, and sometimes they're kind of cool, and then other times you're like, what the hell's going on? And it's just weird. The whole the whole comic just feels like set up for, you know, a battle, like a Mortal Kombat. It's Mortal Kombat is really what it comes down to, really. Like, it just it's, feels like it's Mortal Kombat with Jiu-Jitsu and a veteran who has PTSD, potentially. Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of potential here. I mean, that's the thing that, that kills me about it is there is some basics of a really interesting story of having a vet who has PTSD gets, like, entered in this tournament to save the world who knows, like, jujitsu through these magical reasons and you should be questioning the entire time of whether or not this vet has lost their mind and has BT PTSD that's making them gone nuts or if this is real. Like, do, like, a Jacob's Ladder thing. Like, that would be really, really cool. But again, this is, like, barely an issue 
Um, it just, it, it doesn't explain much. The art is choppy. The story's choppy. This is bad. It's really, really bad. There, are, I have no doubt the film will be better because what I just described as far as like, hey, it would be really cool if they did this is a million times better than what's on this page. Um, like, I, I, like, I know, I can't even, I, I wanted to see the film because, you know, Nicolas Cage and Kung Fu or Jiu Jitsu and fighting and martial arts or whatever, and it's going to be completely insane. But after reading this, because the other is, is uh, Dimitri, I believe, directed the film. So, holy shit, if the comic is this choppy and the narrative's that bad, like, flow-wise, I can't imagine what the film's going to be like. So this will be fascinating. Um, really, the comic feels like a storyboard. It feels like a storyboard for concepts to pitch a film. It's really what it comes down to. Um, and the fact that there hasn't been, I don't believe there's been a second issue. I've Googled, I've searched, there's nothing as far as a second issue. The fact that I can't find a second issue makes me think that uh, that's exactly what it is. So, wow. I can't wait to watch, I really, seriously, I can't wait to watch this film just because it's just going to wash the stink of uh, this comic out of my mouth. After that resounding review, if you want your own copy, we've got links beneath this video. Uh, they're affiliate links. I don't know if local comic shops can get this, but we'll include our usual thing where you can put in your zip code and maybe your shop can order it. But uh, the links below, below are definitely going to be affiliate links. Uh, the only place I found it is, is Amazon right now. Um, so if anyone else has got some others, drop them in below. We'll leave them in the comments. Uh, as always, much appreciated. If you are looking for the latest comic news, reviews, interviews, etc., hit us up every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. As always, until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.